Yo. Boy, see you ain't seated. Slow it down as your distance. Ah! You see, I'm fucking exhausted right now. I mean, I just feel this was urgent enough to undo. First of all, total slaughter. I'm gonna give my opinion on it. I wanna give a big thank you to the slaughters. Joe Button, Royce, Crooked, Joel, Eminem, Paul. For um, shedding so much light on battle rap. To bring it to a whole nother audience. You know, people who weren't aware. Who were sleeping on it. That probably woke them up. So thank you for that for sure. For sure, 100%. I'll give my opinion on the battles. Big T versus Austin. My opinion of, well, and the fact. Austin won. Do I think Big T had better bars than Austin? Clearly. But Austin outformed them, outwrapped them. And that's what Austin does. My whole thing is with Big T. I don't think Big T's style is for a big crowd. It's ironic. Big T, big crowd. Anyways, you know, he's he can't really scream and boom, boom, boom. Because, you know, his bars are really more you got to listen to. So when he does all that performance, that he's not exactly the best. It's not like he has the best, best, best performance. He has great performance, but it's not like Hitman or Clips or, or somebody like that. You know, it's gonna like kind of take away from his bars and shit. But like battle, like battling the like Hollow said is physical. You gotta have breathing and control and shit. Basically, what I'm saying is I don't think Big T style is for a big one. Same as I feel as mine, be magic, which we'll see. So that's the Big T and Oz. Rex and Daylight, Rex clearly got him. Daylight, that's my nigga. I mean, what he did is what he did. Like Roy said, that's Daylight. Expect some out the box shit to him. The reason why nobody could be mad at Daylight or say he's killing the sport or whatever, cause he said straight up, I want to be the biggest name in battle rap, but not known for rapping. I mean, I'm not here to rap, I'm here to do the bullshit. I mean, once somebody really says that, you can't really fall from anything, really. I mean, he telling you straight up, and if people are booking him, they are accepting that. So we obviously have no choice but to accept it also. But Rex got daylight. It seemed like Rex started going a little easier. I mean, I guess he realized the situation and shit, but he still got the dub, and he was looking flawless on the show. So shout out, shout out to Rex. Mook and Lux, three man. First time they battled on Smack, thought it was a tie. Lux got the first part, five rounds, whatever, and Mook got the second five rounds. I believe it was ten, how many fuck that ever was. Part on the DVD, I think Lux got the part that was extra off the DVD, I think you got. Now, this rematch, Murder Mook really came to fucking play. When I say play, I don't mean to play around. He came to really do what the fuck he does. Drop forward, that's exactly what he did. Lux is always gonna have crazy over the head bars that is not for the present crowd, really more for the camera. That's where he raps. But I'm more of a fan of Lux from the DVDs. When Lux is on punchline shit, but battle rap does that, that, that popping shit, boom, 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 that gum busting shit. That's what I'm a fan of Lux for. That style, that preacher style or righteous style that he did, it's Calico, it worked because the person he was bad for. Great genius, probably the best performance ever. Battle rap was notable, also, biggest performance. It worked, but you know when you're going against murder, nigga named murder at your battle before, you know you gotta, you gotta bring them fucking joints out, man. That's what he failed, he failed to do, and it showed. But of course, it doesn't take nothing away from Lux, you know, Lux is just an amazing lyricist, amazing battle rap. Really, I started battle rapping, honestly, because of Murder Mook versus Jay Mills, and I'm like, yo, this is crazy, I want to battle. Shout out, shout out to Mook. Joe Button Hollywood, then Joe, Joe Button, salute, thank you, a lot of guts, you risked a lot, you got into the ring with a battle rapper, period, and was one of the elite. The first round, I, I can't really say Joe shocked me, because Joe Button is one of my favorite rappers, so I know he has the bars. But, you know, I like the way the crowd was giving it up to him. Even if it does go to 2-1, to one, the round that I do give Joe would be the first, and Hollow would be the next two. I definitely think Joe Button is capable of battling if he just learns more of the battle delivery. Because he's a rapper, you know, he's used to rapping and rhyming, flowing, and making shit have a certain cadence. His bars sound a certain way. It sounds like he was on beat, which I think that was really the only problem. And you know, Hollow is Hollow. What he does, personal, rebuttal, freestyles, game flips, all that shit. I think it was a good look of battle rap. Maybe the crowd was a little restless, maybe, or maybe that's just how the cameras captured the audio of the crowd. The mic situation kind of took away from the battle. Hollow he's using the lavalier, Buddy's using the handheld. It kind of took away from Hollow's audio, but helped his performance. Vice versa, Joe Buddy took away from the performance of this audio. Yeah, but I give the joint on Hollow and Joe Button. I believe he can battle once he just gets past the rhyming to the beat, knowing that, okay, I don't have to have a boom, boom, boom. I could rap this and just lay, lay it all out. And then he really gets battle delivery down. He'll definitely be a force because he got the bars. Now, what I do want to say is, besides the fact that I'm glad my battle rap would appear one, as I was telling Joe Button also, we needed them to say Hollow. We needed a verdict to be Hollow One. Because if any event where Hollow lost, even like, matter of fact, no, if, if Hollow actually lost, bar for bar, it would have been bad for Battle Rap. If it was close and they called Joe Button the um, winner, where it could have went either way, could that would have been bad for Battle Rap also. That would have done, but just been like, you see, what are y'all Battle Rappers doing? Try to call these industry niggas, niggas out if we want. So this proves to y'all that we can do what y'all do, y'all can't do what we do. It's a different lane, stay in your own lane, don't fuck with the grown folk, blah, 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 all that shit. That would have been very quiet for Battle Rap. 
needed that. It also would have been the whole point of them bringing all that light to battle rap to just really take it away. It wouldn't have really made no fucking sense. So that's my opinion about Total Slaughter. It was a great look. Thank you again. Salute. And that's it, man. You already know what it is. Ah! See?